You cannot be successful and be a failure at the same time. You see, a person who sacrifices little in their life, a person who only gives weak, is a person who only gets little. The small sacrifice produces a small reward. But a man who thinks big and a man who sacrifices big is a man who gets big, has the big rewards. You see, the pain and the struggle in which you go through when you're sacrificing is what allows the mind to reconstruct itself, to break down all of its current wiring and the neurons and the connections and be rewired into a new state of a successful person. And when you are changing, just know that it's not going to feel right, it's not going to feel comfortable, because your hormones and your emotions are all going to go against you, and they don't want to change, so they'll fight you back. Now I don't care in whichever situation you've got yourself into, I don't care how hopeless your situation feels like, maybe it's frightening, maybe you're scared, maybe you're miserable, and you hate in whichever situation you are, you hate which point you are in at your life. Just know that if there was a path into this situation, then that means there's a path out of the situation. Now, how do I know that you can get out of this situation? How do I know that you can survive and pull through? You see, you are a human and the human has the capability of morphing itself or transforming itself into any type of physical state or mental state it requires to get out of any situation it's in. So, if you want to be an athlete, if you want to be a runner, then what you do is, is that you sacrifice muscle, you sacrifice strength, you sacrifice mass in return for less weight so you can run quicker. Or if you are a person who prefers heavy strength and a heavy lifter, then what you do is you sacrifice speed for strength, you sacrifice durability for strength, you sacrifice endurance for strength, you gain muscle mass. You gain more weight, but you gain greater strength. Or, if you are a person who desires to go down the road of intellect, a road of intelligence, then what you do is you sacrifice time for physical development, and you put in its place mental development, reading, studying, looking at what other people are doing if they're successful, picking up new material, learning from educational books. That will improve your mental state. The point is that whatever situation you're in and whichever person you need to become to get out of that situation, whichever place you're in now and you want to get out, you might not be able to get out in your form that you are in right now, but you have the capabilities to shift yourself into a new form, into a new state to be able to survive. And the power to change is only within you and only up to you.